morning. It is a beautiful sunny day here. Well, I didn't just wake up. I've been in bed, but I've just gotten up. It's a slightly late start this morning because I've been doing emails and computer work in bed, um, just trying to knock some of that out of the way so I can be stress-free about it this afternoon as I work in the house. Uh, and I just want to say, any of you guys who work in like corporate or office jobs where you're doing emails and computer things all day, good job. Give yourselves a large pat on the back. I do not know how you guys are able to do that. It is so stressful to me when I just have to sit in front of a computer and respond to messages. It drags my energy out of my body. It's so impressive to me. I have so much respect for people who who, uh, who work in front of a computer. <laughs> I cannot tell you. I would lose my mind in about three to four hours. Anyway, I have finally finished the emails and admin things I need to do. I've gotten up. I'm just going to open up the window. It looks gorgeous and sunny. But for some reason this week, it has been unseasonal weather. So I'm going to open the window. Nope. It's not horribly cold, but it is chilly and it is windy and I'm not dealing with that. But I've got a good indoor project today, which is also kind of a secret project. So I didn't want to really show it to you guys until I was sure it turned out good. But I've been working on murals to go above all the doors on the upstairs landing. And the first one is finished and ready to be put on the wall. Also, look at my little flower. Um, I just, I was moving all of the weeds that I've pulled into one big pile yesterday and I, I accidentally pulled this guy thinking that he was, he must have been among some weeds. I must have gotten over enthusiastic, but I found him in the pile. I put him in some water and he perked up and he's so cute now. Someday I'm going to wear clothes on this channel that are not big puffy black jumpers to work in, but that day is not today. Today's most nerve-wracking project, this needs to go there. I am very, very nervous because this took me hours and hours and hours to do, and I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. So I really don't want to destroy it by trying to put it on the wall. Um, this wall as well uh, has been puttied. Um, so basically, if I come up here, you can see this is what is underneath. This is what the wall was like when I arrived. It's all textured and concrete. And I've put putty over the wall and sanded it so it's nice and smooth, which was a dusty and disgusting mess. Sanding this was so unpleasant. I hope that it is flat enough. So I'm going to paint the wallpaper glue directly onto that wall place the mural on top and uh, hope for the best. I should also say I'm really nervous for trimming off the extra wallpaper because that, if, if it tears or um, is not trimmed correctly, it's gonna be a big problem. And I'm just so nervous about destroying this massive t investment of time that I've already done. It's on the wall, it's in one piece, and it looks really, really nice. Look at that. Yes. Oh, I've just kicked over my tripod. Good job. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so, so pleased with that. I'm so pleased with it. Obviously there's going to be more wall covering done over here, but I'm gonna wait until they take out the old heating system before we move to the left at all but so pleased with it. Um, it's not the cleanest cut that I've ever done, but I want to put either 
uh, some caulk just to seal it or uh, like a very small piece of wood trim across the bottom anyway. So it doesn't really matter about that. Uh, what matters is that the mural did not tear. I'm so happy with it. Yes. I'm quickly gonna do a little extra side project because I found some wallpaper that I really like and it is currently on sale for almost half off. And so even though I am not nearly ready to begin any projects on the first floor, I did think that this could be a really nice wallpaper to go in the yellow bedroom. So I'm just gonna hold it up in here in the yellow bedroom, see if it works. And if it does work, I am going to go ahead and buy the wallpaper while it's on sale because that would be a big savings. It's a reference video with the before version because I'm being a good YouTuber and remembering to film the before version. This is what it looked like before. So this is the yellow bedroom. And I'm gonna keep this one very close to the way that it is now. I kind of like that the furniture in here is a little bit 1930s feel. It's a little bit different than the rest of the house. And you can see there's the original wallpaper. That's not great lighting, is it? Maybe over here. Oh yeah, that's better. So you can see there's the original wallpaper over here. Um, this is the same uh, era of wallpaper, I'm assuming, as was in the living room. And that was from the 1920s, 1930s. So what I'm thinking here is that Maybe I could do that thing that you see in chateaus sometimes where you make like a giant square on the wall with um, like thin pieces of wood trim and then you fill in the inside of the square with a uh, patterned wallpaper or fabric. And so I feel like that could be really nice in here because it'd be a good option where I don't have to destroy all of the wallpaper that is currently in here since it is semi-historic. Uh, but I also don't have to keep only that wallpaper because it's a little bit boring. Um, so it could be a good compromise. Also, it would mean that I don't have to take down all of the wallpaper in here, which would be amazing because it took us eternity, eternity to take down the wallpaper in the living room. And if this is anything like that, I don't want to do that again. I think that could be really nice in here and it'd be a way to add in the pretty patterned wallpaper and keep what's originally here. For my next trick, while the door to the closet is drying with the paint in the kitchen, I am going to get on the door frame of the closet and add some decorative trim right here because we've got kind of a, not unsightly, but just not ideal <laughs> line of wallpaper straight onto a trim board that is flush with the wall and I don't like it so I want to add a little extra bit here to make it look more fancy. It's the inevitable moment when I come up against my own incompetence at woodworking <laughs> because I've cut the first piece of trim and it looks great. I'm so happy with how it looks. I think it looks really 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 nice and it finishes this wall in a way that I really was hoping for. But you can see up here, I've cut what I thought was a 45 degree angle. Apparently it is not. Because when I take this other side of the wood that I cut and put them together, that's not right. I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to fix this, but what I'm gonna do is cut the piece that goes along the top and then just measure where it touches that piece and then put the uh, cut that I've already done on top of the other piece of wood, trace it, and try to just custom make them to fit together. It's not mathematical. Potentially it might not look terrible. <laughs> okay, I marked where the two pieces touch on the bottom and on the top. And then I drew a straight line between them gonna cut, maybe a mistake. Please fit properly. Ah, uh, why? Why? I, 
had an idea. I went and got this wood file that my dad bought to sand down the bottom of some of the doors that were sticking. And I've used that to um, shave down the angle of my cut so it's a little bit steeper. I think it's better now. Okay, come on. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. It's a bit lower than I wanted it, but it'll still cover the joint between the wallpaper and the door frame. I will take that. Well, actually, that is not too bad. I got some caulk and I filled that little gap with caulk. And both pieces are now onto the door frame. And they look great. I'm so pleased with this. Let me zoom out. They look fabulous. I'm so, so happy with that. It's so much better. So the only thing left to do now is to do some little touch-up painting where the tape took off a little bit of the paint. But I am so pleased with that. So now I'm going to go get the door, which has been drying in the kitchen, and put the door into the closet. And it's going to be done. Oh my god, I love it. It's so much better. Oh, I love it so much. This is a huge difference in this room. Of course, this armoire is going downstairs. It's not going to be here for long. It's just being stored here. And uh, there's still some touch-ups to do in the paint job. And I am going to add the gold detailing on the back of the door like I've already done on this door. But it's going to be gorge and it's going to be done soon. I'm so happy with it. This room looks so different than it did like even even a month ago. It just huge, huge, huge difference in the look and feel of this room except for the giant sofa that is also being stored in here. <laughs> Nothing's perfect, okay? <laughs> oh dear, but God, what a difference already. Uh, I need to finish upholstering the bed. I have more pieces of trim that I'm going to apply to the walls in either a wain like a fake wainscoting paneling pattern or like just big squares. Um, it sounds insane, but it's going to be cute. Um, but yeah, then that's pretty much, I think that's it. That's all that's left to do in this room. Uh, and then, yeah, well, well, we do need to redo the floor, um, which was, it needed it anyway before I started working in here. The, the doors scraped it. There's a lot of places where the floor just needed redoing and we need to fill in that hole. So there's just a few little detail things left. But oh my God, the blue bedroom is going to be done so soon. It's so exciting. So there, there are just a few little detail things left. Um, I think that's what, the, the hole in the door, the floor, <laughs> my hand. Oh no! Um, the hole in the door, the floor, the gold detailing on the closet door, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, and the, the detailing on the walls. So that's four things left. None of those are big jobs. None of those are going to take very long. And then we need to move out that armoire and the, the sofa. And then decorate. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then the only room that I will be working in on this floor is the kitchen. That will be every room except for one done on this floor. Oh my god, that's going to be such a relief. I just, I cannot wait for the day when uh, my whole second floor is done because then I can live up here without feeling like I'm in a construction zone. And it'll just take some of the pressure off because at the moment, you know, when you're constructing and, and doing home improvement, it just feels messy everywhere. So then when this floor is completely done, I can seal it off, keep it nice, keep it clean, and I won't feel like quite such a disaster all the time. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Anyway, 
the the door work is definitely a win and i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video on a on what i feel like is a big win today because it oh it's so much better and we're so close to being done in here um anyway i think that's where i'm gonna let it go for today and uh just I'll quickly remind you to please do subscribe to my channel because it, it really does help you guys. I know I say this all the time, but it, it really helps. It really makes a difference. And it's very encouraging. It's just very supportive to, to feel like people are watching my videos and liking my videos and enjoying my videos. And it, it really helps. So please do subscribe. Please like videos. Please comment. Interact with me. Um, help me feel not like I'm alone on the internet. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, with that, I will uh, see you guys next time. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Maybe I'll do a video while I'm performing in London. Um, or maybe it'll be after I come back. Because again, I have to leave uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. To go to London for a show. So um, we'll see. We'll see if I film that or not. Um, if not, I will see you guys when I get back. And I'll... Maybe have a little clip of some stuff from London to add to that video. Anyway, I am going to cook some dinner, chill out, and maybe just sit in a chair and stare at my beautiful new doorway. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time.